So you guys know I'm going to read you three things that came out of the business news, and you're going to tell me if they're going to flop or fly. And the first one actually is about Starbucks. Starbucks is going to donate all of its unsold food to the needy. Uh, flop or fly? Phil. It's going to fly. Um, kudos to them, but I, I don't think it, it moves the needle at all in terms of, of people saying, oh, I'm going to go to Starbucks now instead of, of uh, Pete's or uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Aaron, what do you think? Fly. Fly. Okay. You know, <laughs> nobody wants to eat stale cake pops, so right. I'm going to rank this as a <laughs> lolly flop. Oh, my gosh. I think it's a fly. I think it's a great. Five million me meals a year. I think it's great. Uh, number two, Rent the Runway has a new app that lets its customers rent everyday clothes. In other words, not just prom and formal dresses, uh, but everyday clothes. Flop or fly? Bob, we'll start with you. Um, I think it's a great idea. Uh, I'm going to rank this as a fly because everybody should look fly at work. Um, <laughs> I know I could benefit from some new, some new threads. Uh, I've probably worn this suit too many times to count. But it's a great suit. All right. Uh, uh, Aaron, what do you say? Flop? Because Flop. they tried, they launched this already two years ago. This is not new. At, at our Brainstorm Tech Conference, <laughs> actually, they launched it. And it was maybe a different price point and a different plan. But I, I actually think that it has struggled and they're trying to revive it. And, and this, this is an idea that I think is, um, people aren't willing to pay $1,600 a year for clothes that they don't get to keep. Okay, Phil, what do you say? I absolutely agree with Aaron. I think their business model works when you're talking about Carolyn Herrera gowns for $5,000 that you need one night, not when it's everyday clothes. Okay, I'm gonna go, I think fly. I think this is, you know, people don't wanna own too many things anymore. And I don't know, you I get do. to change it up. They do have competition <laughs> with, you do, clothes, with Stitch yeah. Fix though, I will say that. Okay, lastly, Chipotle launched a new game where customers can compete to win a free order of chips and guac. Flop or fly, Phil? Um, flop. They need to make sure that we won't find E. coli in their food anymore <laughs> before finding all this stuff. So I don't know if free food will do it. Uh, Aaron, what do you think? Um, fly, because I'm, I'm actually really shocked that people, uh, that I, I assume that when there's an outbreak of, of something like neurovirus, that people are going to be like, oh, interesting, but then they'll still eat at Chipotle. And I, and I think that we, we've uh, seen the opposite here. But I think that if you're giving away free food, people aren't going to turn it down. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm, I'm going to say flop uh, just because I think that they're trying to distract from the uh, the whole uh, PR meltdown that they had over their uh, supply chain and sourcing food, and uh, they had that outbreak. So I'm going to go with flop on this one.